Hello, my name is Carl Wellers. I'm the director here at the Nassau County Museum of Art, where we have on view now the exhibition Artists in America, highlights from the collection of the New Britain Museum of American Art. This is a survey of Amer American art you know, since the colonial era to uh, very contemporary times. If you visited the New Britain Museum, many of these works would usually be on view in their permanent collection galleries and displayed uh, very much chronologically, either by the dates of the artists or the dates of the work of art. Here we have decided to mix things up just a little bit on this occasion uh, and uh, we've arranged um, the works more thematically. Uh, we, we sort of hung it on a structure of asking who, what, when, where, how, and why, and um, sort of uh, place the works to create various juxtapositions, which give people a different way of looking at works of art. Here right behind me, and you might be surprised by this work, is, is, is a piece by Georgia O'Keeffe. It's a um, view of the East River in Manhattan. Um, not the usual work that one would expect from Georgia O'Keeffe, where I think most people are very familiar with her very large scale um, flower paintings. Looking directly across the room is um, one of the great Child Hassam paintings, possibly the greatest American Impressionist painting that was ever painted. It's a view of Paris on race day uh, when the crowds are bustling around you know, the seats of one of the other great metropolises of the world. We have you know, other you know, images of New York City as well as you know, images uh, from what's commonly known as the um, Hudson River School of American Painters, which is one of the first great school of American painting that emerged in the 19th century. Here in Gallery 2, we've really devoted uh, to paintings that answer the question who. So, and of course the question who really does deal with issues of portraiture. As you're looking around the room, everything from colonial portraiture to um, early 20th century, you know, masterpieces, 19th century, um, you know, impressionist paintings. I'm standing here in front of a painting by Grant Wood, who's an artist that most people are, are probably familiar with his American Gothic. Um, but this is uh, a painting that was inspired by the 1940 film by John Ford, The Long Voyage Home, including many very recognizable actors of the period, um, most famously John Wayne. Here in Gallery 3, we've um, concentrated on issues of time by asking the question, when? I'm standing in front of a work by Solowit, which is a bit of a stretch in, in some ways, when, but um, it's juxtaposition against other paintings, much more realistic images of the landscape, um, it is quite enlightening in the sense that the undulating lines in the Solowit um, do sort of resonate with many of the images of land and sea that you see you know, throughout this room. This is a, a work by Winslow Homer, which is, you know, which is also about time in so many ways. A very, very fashionably dressed woman, just you know, catching butterflies next to a, a, a masterful Thomas Moran, which you know, amazingly within one painting includes um, everything from from you know, a, a coming storm to uh, light breaking through the clouds to um, rushing waters to uh, very you know, calming meadows and um, mountains and fields. It's, it's a painting that just sort of engages uh, almost you know, every aspect of, of atmosphere and landscape that one can think of. The, trip to Italy, the journeys to Italy to study art and um, the effects of atmosphere and light on Roman ruins and you know, one of the you know, great cities of the world was something of a pilgrimage for American artists in their studies of art. This exhibition, Artists in America, uh, highlights from the collection of the New Britain Museum of American Art is going to be on view here at the Nassau County Museum of Art. We um, have wonderful docent tours at two o'clock every day within the galleries. We hope you'll come and visit and enjoy.